I want to dance, Tracy. Let's dance. Growing up, I always dreamed of being a ballerina. I danced around the house in my pink leotard and tutu and tiara. I wanted to be a princess, to be perfect and magical. But when I went to my first class and all the little girls stared at me with their long straight hair and perfect white dresses. I knew it was over. I did still dance, Tracy, in my room, to now 74 with Bruno Mars. I danced with a hairbrush in hand, with feather boas and sunglasses. I was a dancing queen, like Meryl Streep, young and free. You say you started dancing to find your body again, feel free in your own skin. But I lost my rhythm for a while. My body grew curves and I grew clumsier. In PE I was picked last and boys never picked me at all. I was too cold, too Christian, too frigid. But then came the booze and the festivals and the clubs the drunken attempts at finding love. Suddenly, dancing was in again. And part of me loved the power, the simple game my hips could play. But really, I was still an amateur, scooping up desperate kisses while the girls with long straight hair, confident and sexy in perfect black dresses, weren't afraid to take them home. So I kept on trying to dance, trying to be free and liberated. Then one day I decided to stop. And just like that, he appeared, my true love. And he showed me what it was to feel free and liberated. Or at least that's what I thought. I thought if I could make him see me as confident, see me as sexy, then I'd be able to see it too. That all the waiting was worth it to be perfect for the perfect guy. But he wasn't perfect, no matter how much I tried to believe it. And so now, Tracy, I'm on my own again. Trying to unpack all the lies, perhaps the first of which was that I'd never be a dancer, that I am only sexy through a lover's eye, that I was both superior and inferior to the girls with long hair, that we couldn't dance together or that I couldn't dance alone for love or for pain or for joy or for myself. I wanna dance, Tracy. Come on, let's dance.